To a crime alert, an investigation continues after a mass shooting in North Mississippi. Four people were killed in Holly Springs yesterday. WREG's Jessica Knox spoke with a victim's family member and a neighbor about the tragedy that unfolded. Crime scene tape remains here at this home on Westward Avenue, where a quadruple homicide occurred Sunday evening. Neighbors and family members tell me that they are heartbroken after this shooting. I've never seen nothing like that before. Family is torn apart. We are broken. An investigator with the Marshall County Sheriff's Department says it was a drive-by shooting. One victim's auntie, Nancy Stewart, says her nephew went by a nickname, Nate. She says Nate had some visitors from Memphis. One of the females was his fiance, which the baby was in the car with them. And the other two girls was their friends from Memphis. The five-year-old was not harmed. The baby was okay. The baby's real young, so I'm not quite sure if the baby really knows what's going on right now. Stewart says she doesn't know what led up to the shooting. Neighbor Joe Wilson used to take Nate to school many years ago. He describes to us what he heard. Instantly after the first three or four, it seemed like it sounded like another three or four shots. Moments later, Wilson could see several ambulances, deputies, officers, and a crime scene tape from his front door. There were two deceased females inside the vehicle. And then my neighbor, uh, Nate, you know, had been uh, killed. You know, and I believe uh, another young lady was uh, laying there not too far from him. Witnesses tell WREG a domestic dispute possibly led to the shooting. We asked the auntie if she could tell us anything about the couple. I don't know anything about that. Just so shocked for something like that to happen to young people. It just hurts our heart to have stuff like that go on. And that's too many people at one time. Reporting for your news leader in Holly Springs, Mississippi, I am Jessica Knox, WREG News Channel 3. And late this afternoon, the Marshall County Sheriff told us they are not looking for any suspects.